Hello, my name is Ibra with Zoom, and today I will be showing you how to start up and set up your new 4K XBR. So as you can see, um, we are on the device initiation screen, just like on the previous XBR. It is very similar, it's just a couple things that are different, which I will be addressing on the video. In this video, I will be showing you how to set up and start up your new XBR. I will be showing you a couple new things that changed and that they were moved to different locations and I will show you all the new layouts so y'all don't get lost when setting up this new XPR. So let's go ahead and get started. As the old one, you have to set up your old unique password. It does not come with the default password and you also cannot leave it blank. You have to make sure you follow these guidelines and you have to make sure you reach the middle strength in order for that password to, to work. Here on the prompt question, this is just in case you need a hint of what your password was in case you can't remember, remember your password. Moving on, here we also have the unlock pattern, just like on the previous XBRs. Um, in case you don't want to be inputting your password manually every single time, you can just draw the pattern and this will unlock your XBR. Here is one of the most important parts of the XBR setup. It is highly, highly recommended that y'all set up the email. This is the only way y'all will be able to reset the password in case y'all forget the password. We do not have a default password. So it is highly important that you set up this email. And in case you do want to know how to reset the password because you forgot, we have a video on our YouTube channel showing exactly step by step how to reset your password. And here in the security questions, this is also important, but it doesn't allow you to reset the password. What the security questions do is in case you get locked out of your XBR and you can't remember the password, you can answer um, these security questions and these will allow you access into the XVR, but it's not going to allow you to change the password. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go and skip this step and click save. On here, on check for updates, we're just going to leave it as it is and click next. Here we have some general information. There's nothing much you should change here. Um, in case you want to change the mouse sensitivity, and that would be probably it, what you'll want to change. But other than that, everything else should be leave it as it is, leave it defaulted, click next. Here we have the date and time, since you want to update the date and time, and it's not the correct, it's not set up to the correct time. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave it as it is, and click next. Here we have our network information. By default, our XVRs, all of our products come defaulted to DHCP. So as you can see, it's DHCP on. I'm just going to go and click next. And here we have our P2P information. Um, this is one of the most common issues we have with tech support. A lot of guys call about this issue. Um, when setting up P2P, you have to make sure enable is on. You have to make sure the status is online. And you also have to make sure you're scanning the correct code. Here you can see we have two QR codes. This one on the left hand side of the screen. This one's to scan and download the app that you're going to be using. And this one on the right hand side, this one's the one that you're going to be scanning to set up P2P on your app. So in case you have any more questions or you need a guide on how to do this setup, we have a video on our YouTube channel showing exactly step by step how to set up P2P on your phone. So go ahead and check it out. Moving on, here we have our encoding. By the, uh, I would suggest just to leave this alone in case you need to do any changes. Um, you can always go back. And do so and I will show you where y'all can find this information on the XVR. Moving on here as well we can just leave it as it is and the basic information on our hard drive. Um, real quick our XVRs and all of our products do come defaulted to overwrite itself so once the hard drive reaches its um, capacity and it's full it's just going to start recording over itself so you don't have to worry about the XVR, the, I'm sorry, the hard drive stop recording. It's just going to re-record re over itself. Moving on, here we have our record schedule. By default, our XVR does come um, defaulted to a schedule of continuous recording. So it's always going to be recording no matter what. Um, we do have other, you, you can do some modifications, for example, in case you want to set up motion recording so it only records under motion that, that is possible and we also have a video on our YouTube channel showing exactly how to do that step by step in case you want to go and check that out moving on here on um, snapshot we can also leave that how it is and we can just click finish here we have a cool message I'm going to click OK and now I'm going to show you all the new layout of the new XVR 
So if you right click, here you have different layout. It's pretty similar as the previous one. Um, the one that really changed was the main menu. So if you click on it, you can see it's a lot, a lot different. I will be going mostly over management since this is what you're going to be using the most. On the top, I will be further explaining the video since this is playback and backup, which is how you'll be able to back up your footage. And moving on to the second screen, display, since this is how you'll be able to change the resolution. So I'm going to start off with display since we're already here. By default, this XPR does come on set to resolution of 1080p. So in case your XPR is not displaying on, on your monitor or on your screen, just make sure you take a look at this. Um, your monitor or your screen may not support 1080p, so you're able to change it and lower down the resolution. And going back to the front, here we have video, which is well, this is where you'll be able to find your playback. It's very similar as the one we previously had. Here you have your little calendar. Anything in blue is anything that has a recording in there. If it's not highlighted blue, that means there's no recording and there's nothing we can do to bring that recording back. So once you select your date and your camera that you want to see, here you can see you have a, a bar showing the recording. You can just go ahead and click play or just click directly on the bar and you can see that there is recording. Moving on, I will be talking further into backup. This is where you're able to back up your video in case you need to save any footage on your USB. Giving a quick run on how to do a backup, you need to have a hard drive connected. I'm sorry, you need to have a USB connected into the XVR. It's going to pull it up here. You'll select your channel. You'll select your start date and time, and your end date and time. You will click search, and as you can see, it pulls up some recordings. You can change the file format. You just have to click the down menu, and you can either download it by DAV or MP4. And once you have everything set up, if I would have my, my USB connected, I would, I would have to do is click backup, and it will start doing the backup. Since I don't have anything, it's going to give me this message. Moving on here, we have camera. This is one of the most important spots that you're going to be using when setting up your XVR. This is where you have your image controls. You can change the saturation, brightness, so on. Here you have your encoding controls, like I was mentioning earlier. This is where you're going to change any settings that you need to do so. I would recommend you to leave it alone, just in case you really do need to change any settings. This is where you'll be able to do that. You'll be able to do that. Here we have channel type, as you all know, um, just like our previous XVR, we have the A, B, and C connections in the back, and additionally we can add more channels by clicking here, it adds those channels, and clicking apply. This will restart your XVR, and once you're finished rebooting, you will have those additional channels. If you need help doing this, we also have a video on our YouTube channel showing exactly how to do this. Moving on, here we have network. Here we have our basic information of our network. This is the IP address of our XVR. As I mentioned earlier, it does come set to DHCP. Here we have our DDNS, our email, and P2P. This is where you'll, you'll go in case you want to add any other user to the P2P and so they can view their cameras. Moving on, here we have storage. We have the basic information of our storage, as I mentioned earlier. When that hard drive is full, it overwrites itself. We have the schedule. Moving on, here we have system. This is where you have your general information. You have your date and time in case you need to change it and update it. You can default your whole XVR in case there's any changes that you, you might have done wrong and you just want to go back to default. And you can also do a factory default. Factory default is going to take you back to the first step which is going to force you to create a whole new password and it's going to make it's going to force you to go through all those steps all over again. We also have upgrade here in case you need to do a firmware update. This is where you will be able to do it. You will just click system upgrade. As long as you have a USB connected, it will read it. You click your firmware and upgrade. Here in their account, this is where you'll be able to find and log I'm sorry, this is where you'll be able to add another user in order for that user to log in into the XVR and have access to the XVR. 
very similar like our other XPRs. So I'm not going to go in depth with it. And we have info. This is where you'll find your information of the XPR. For example, the model number, the channels, the firmware. Here you have your log, how many times you log in, out, any changes you do. You a couple of network information, who's logged into your XPR on the app. Your channel information. Um, right now on camera one, we have a four megapixel connected. And you have your resolution, um, the bitrate and all that. It shows you right here what's going on in case you want to take a look at that. Here on top, we have some more options. Here we have, it shows you who you're logged in as. Right here, if you click on this icon right here, it allows you to to shut down, reboot, and log out. And here, this is just a quicker way to get those P2P codes to pull up. If you just click on the top right, it pulls up the cell phone client and the serial number. And that is a quick rundown of the new XVR and the new features it has to offer. I did not go in depth on all the other features, for example, all these, since you won't be using most of them. Um, I just went over the ones that are most common, the ones that you'll be using the most of. So y'all can have a better idea of how this new XBR and the new layout is working now. I hope this video helps you out. Thanks for watching.